Hello guys, I'm Kevin. Thanks very much for tuning back into Mercy Sense. Today I'm going to give you a quick review of two fragrances I recently bought from Rosa Salas. These are new fragrances that have just been recently released, so if you want to know what they are, stay tuned. Welcome back guys, thanks for staying tuned. So yeah, today I just recently purchased two nice little fragrances from Rosa Salas. These are new releases and released them last week. Sorry it took, took so long, my apologies for me to get them out there. It's, I've just started a new job, I've been off work for about, out of work for about four or five weeks since, since the start of this coronavirus. So I've just got back into work, obviously trying to get my head down, get stuck in. I'll probably only be able to get out one or two reviews a week. So two fragrances. The first one is 070 EOS. Now this is inspired by John Paul Gaultier's Lamal. And the second one is 071 Alpha. Now Alpha is inspired by Dior I'm Intense. Now there's one of these I prefer over the other. One of them's it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to, and one of them I'm absolutely in love with. So the first one I'm gonna go with is EOS. So this one, I go through the presentation as always with Rosa Salas, presentation is brilliant. Lovely little box, you see in the front. All the details around the back, great presentation. Rosa Salas up the top, if you can see it, also at the bottom. There we are. Now for the bottle. There we go, lovely little bottle presentation. Give it a quick spray. So EOS, this is inspired by John Paul Gaultier's Lamal. So, a little quick spray. Now on the opening, this is very, very harsh to my nose. When I first smelled this, I was like, oh, what's that, bit, bit too much for me. What you've got to do with this, you do get that bit of that Lamal DNA, but it's got other things going on. Now I will read the notes out for you. The notes on this are, the top notes are fresh and tender, combining mint with lavender, zesty lime, artemisia and earthy cardamom, while the middle notes are almost creamy centre with hints of orange blossom, caraway and cinnamon. However, the base notes enter like the percussion section of an orchestra, fusing together cedar and vanilla, tonka bean, handle, amber and sandalwood. So as you can see, lots of woods, lavender, quite floral. So off the top, like I say, that just does nothing for me at the minute that I was like, oh, what's this when I smelled it? I was expecting that nice John Paul Gaultier Ultimale, sorry, Ultimale, Lamal DNA to whip me straight away. What I will say with this is after an hour, it goes lovely, nice, sweet, nice and creamy, and you're getting more towards that uh, Lamal DNA. Now, would I call this a complete comparison to Lamal? Not really, I think they go in different directions. It has got that similarity. But to me, I'm going to take a little bit of getting used to this. It's not, I do love Lamal. I've never taken, smelled the new, the newer formulations. I have had the older formulations, which I think most people have when I was in school. But I'll have to give this a few more wearings for me to get used to it because at the minute, it's a bit hit and miss for me. So yeah, my first one is a 072 EOS. So my second one, 071 Alpha. I won't go through the presentation, I've just done all that. It's exactly the same. Brilliant presentation, all the back stuff, things like that. So this is inspired by the aura intense. So a little spray again. Now, just for the record, I do know what these smell like. Um, I was going to do a first impressions, but I wanted to give them a little spray just in case they needed to macerate. But I'll let that just settle down. That is absolutely unbelievable. If you've never smelled the Aura Intense and you need to smell it and you can't afford it, go and try this. That's something else. That is so close. Now what I would give you a little read through the notes on this one. The top notes of lavender adds an intestine floral as a earthy and soothing notes but not as flowery as the others. While the middle notes of iris pear bring about light, fragrant, playful element that's dulled down by the addition of ambretta. With its gorgeous smoky notes. The base notes of vetiver see that tie the whole combination together, creating an incest and woody cocktail. Now this for me is an absolute unbelievable fragrance. What I would say, I've got the original Dior on the sense. 
I get like five or six hours, doesn't last, this lasts longer. And what this does for me, whereas I think the Aura Matense goes quite powdery, quite cacao, this goes more in the direction of gourmand, which I, I love gourmands. This goes very chocolatey, that cacao, but it goes very, very sweet and leans gourmand. An unbelievable scent. Definitely, definitely happy with this, this purchase, can't beat it. So if you do want to try, if you do want to try the Aura Matense, but you're scared of the formulation or you're scared of, or you can't afford the prices, I should say, give this a go. You won't be disappointed with this. It's an absolutely brilliant fragrance. This 30 ml is 30 pounds and the EOS is 24.95 I got it for. So definitely give them a try. As I say, I'm a bit hit and miss with EOS at the minute. I'm gonna give it more time because I do enjoy the dry down. It's just that first opening I need to get over. It's just like a bit overpowered for me, knocks me back a little bit. But in the dry down, it's really nice. But the star of the show for me is definitely 071 Alpha. What a fragrance that is. I'd definitely recommend this for anyone. And it's it's quite light as well. Your almond scent is always associated as being an autumn winter fragrance. That's quite light and it's quite quite airy, so you can wear that in the summer as well. Lovely, lovely scent. And as I say, it's like a duke, it's like a gourmand, the almond scent. And it's just, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm over the moon with it. So we hope you enjoyed my little impressions there of the new fragrances from Rosa Salas. I've got a few other samples that I'm going to go through Rosa Salas fragrances. It's so 1980s, Nasman, eh, Rio Doro, and also Rise Noir. I'm going to give it a little review of them in a, in a week or so. I just want to get a bit of time to get my videos out there, but they're all fragrances that you should all be looking at as well, especially the summer ones. Definitely look out for that video and you will enjoy it. If you are into your inspired houses, give Rosa Salas a try. They are very, very good quality. So thanks very much for watching. Smell good, feel good, and I'll speak to you soon.